Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about a tool that I've used for almost five years now to help me optimize and get the most out of my YouTube channel uh, and to help me grow as quickly as possible. And that tool is TubeBuddy. Uh, and so today we're going to be diving into that tool. I'm going to be showing you the different features that I use on a daily basis in terms of the, I guess you would say the video production process on my YouTube channel, as far as the tools that I use within TubeBuddy that I think have probably helped me gain the most views and subscribers down the line, as well as those tools that they have that have shaved off hours of workflow over a year or two years of working on my YouTube channel. So if you don't know what TubeBuddy is, TubeBuddy is a free browser plugin for Google Chrome, and they also have an iOS and Android app. Now, when you install this plugin, it puts an overlay on top of your YouTube channel that will help you navigate the site faster, that will give you tools within each segment of YouTube that will help you uh, better use the native tools that YouTube has. They have tools such as the uh, thumbnail AB uh, test, which will allow you to test two thumbnails against each other. And so what that means is, is that, you know, TubeBuddy will serve thumbnail A to a certain amount of viewers and then thumbnail B and the one that has the highest CTR or click through rate is the one that you're obviously going to want to go with. And so TubeBuddy just has a ton of tools like that that will help you get the most and eke the most uh, bit of juice out of all the things that you're doing within your YouTube channel. So if you're ready to check it out, let's go ahead and dive into TubeBuddy now. And I want to show you everything of how you can optimize the tool to get better results for your YouTube channel. All right, so the first thing you obviously have to do is download and install TubeBuddy uh, within Chrome as a browser extension. That's fairly easy to do, and they walk you through it very easily. So if you want to follow along with me in this video, I'll click the link in the description of this video uh, and download TubeBuddy and give it a try for yourself. So, all right, I figured the best place to start is going to be to show you, uh, you know, the main things that I use it for. Uh, you know, as far as saving time within YouTube, as well as what I think it's done as far as help me grow my YouTube channel. So as you can see here, I have the TubeBuddy plugin installed and ready to go. As you can tell right up here, my browser plugins, it is red uh, and it says it has access to this site. So whenever you install it, you give it access to your YouTube channel and all of the magic begins. So as you can see here in our video manager, we have the TubeBuddy bulk and miscellaneous tools. We will dive into that shortly. But the first thing I wanna show you is this little guy up here in the upper right hand corner now. So whenever you're in YouTube or the YouTube studio or on YouTube in general, if you select this here, you will see all of the different TubeBuddy options and features here listed below, as well as the different extraneous things that they have as far as trying to help creators like our podcast, which I host by the way, uh, as well as other stuff that you know TubeBuddy is going to provide to you. But the beauty of this little guy up here is that this is a one-stop shop for wherever you need to go on YouTube. So if you click this little guy here with the three lines with the two buddy logo you have the option to go to your dashboard go to your videos go to your live streams go to your playlist go to your comments analytics real time and all of the different tools down below it's just a great way to navigate youtube in a much more efficient way now obviously i don't have the exact amount of time that i've saved over the years by using this but man being able just to click here and go wherever i want on the site is just beautiful uh so that's kind of a little bit about kind of that there all right so when you're on your video manager you're going to see these options here bulk and miscellaneous tools the one that i use the most is this guy right here that says find and replace text if you click on find and replace text uh, basically what this does is this goes into your descriptions and it finds specific text so let's say uh, you have a link that you put in all of your video descriptions that has changed okay you would basically put that link here and then you'd put the new link here okay within descriptions so unchecked titles it can do the same for titles as well and then basically once it finds that text within your YouTube descriptions it will then go ahead and replace it with the new text. So let me show you how to do that now. All right, so I have something that I have in almost all of my descriptions of my YouTube videos, and then I have some replace text here. So if we hit continue, the blue continue button, we can then see that it allows us to search a full list of all of my videos or just a select few or video IDs that you specify. I'm going to go ahead and let's see, only load my most recent 50 videos. But if you have hundreds of videos, obviously you can uncheck this and it will load all of them. So we'll hit continue here and then it will automatically load all of the videos that it has found that in the description. 
if it has found that, you can see that it has a green icon over here, and then you can see where it says found in green right here. If we select certain videos here, what we can do is we can select videos that we want to replace this text, go to continue here, and then hit yes, do it, and it will replace that with the new text that we've selected. I cannot tell you how many hours of time I have saved by having not having to go back and replace individual links that are either broken or just don't work. And so with that being the case, the find and replace text for descriptions and titles are just an amazing, amazing feature. Okay. Next, we have our thumbnail overlays. Now, I'm not going to go over all of these because once you get in here, you'll find some uh, that you may use that I don't. But basically, I want to show you a broad spectrum of the feature set within TubeBuddy to help you get started on some things that you can really do to make a really, really quick difference with your YouTube channel. Thumbnail overlays just allows you to overlay stuff onto your thumbnails. That one's fairly self-explanatory. Bulk cards and bulk end screens. This one, again, is amazing. Uh, so basically, you can go here and you can go to copy. And basically, you can create card templates. So if you don't know what a card is, uh, a card basically is something that pops up on a video on both mobile and desktop. And it just kind of comes across the top right of the screen. And it's a little information box that allows you to put uh, videos, playlists, subscriber buttons, external websites, things like that on top of your videos. TubeBuddy allows you to create templates for these cards and for end screens, by the way, which we'll get to in a minute. And then you just plop them on and you're good to go, right? And so the card and end screen features within TubeBuddy are just amazing, allowing you to change them on a dime for multiple videos, as well as add templates for both cards and end screens to apply to every new video. Again, saving you time, which as a YouTuber, especially those, uh, you know, the people who do this as a hobby and not a full time job, time is money. Uh, and that could be time you're spending with your family. Uh, and so that's the card and end screen features there. Miscellaneous tools and the click magnet is something new. It's in beta right now, but let me tell you something. This is amazing. I'm not going to go over it now, but basically it, it basically reviews all your videos you've uploaded to this point and gives you different bits of data that YouTube doesn't to allow you to see where you could be improving. So that's fantastic there. All right, now let's go into an individual video. So we're uh, in our YouTube studio. We have uploaded a video and we are now on and within an individual video. As you can see, we have a new TubeBuddy tool icon coming up here. Now, with this TubeBuddy tool, we can add the cards and apply templates that we just talked about. We can automatically publish the video to Facebook. Wow, how great is that, right? You just click this link here. Uh, if you have a Facebook page that you like to publish your videos to, you choose the file. So you do have to have the video file on hand. And then once you've chosen the video file that you want to use, you just hit open and then click the green button that says publish to Facebook. It will include the thumbnail title, description, and so much more. You can publish it now or you can schedule it to go you know, live in the future. Again, easily publish your videos to Facebook. The next thing I wanna talk about is the video SEO. Now this is critical, right? Like TubeBuddy, one of the main things they're known for is their uh, keyword tool. And I will show you that here shortly. But under video SEO, we can go to SEO Studio uh, that basically allows us to build the perfect searchable title, description, and tags for your video. Now this one, my friends, is amazing. Once we've typed in our target keyword or phrase into the box here, we can click the green start button. TubeBuddy then begins to grade us on a few different metrics and elements that um, they have included here that you can kind of look at how to improve your score. So as you can see, I got a 95 on this one here, but basically it goes through and shows you, hey, did you include your target keyword in the title, in the thumbnail, in the description? Uh, is it naturally in the title? Is it in the first 200 characters of the description? Are there partial matches of your target keyword in the description? It goes through and takes a look at this in step one. We're not done. There's four steps. Go to the next step. So the next step is tags. So as you can see here, uh, we have one here where it says X. Include your exact target keyword as the first tag. Now, again, if I want to change this, if that's something that TubeBuddy thinks that I should do, I can just click the blue add now button and that automatically adds that keyword immediately right into my tag box. So it's going through telling you some best practices and allowing you to make adjustments right here within this SEO studio. Once we're done with that, we click the green next button here. It's going to show us, okay, how to add and manage widgets. It's gonna show us thumbnails, okay, and how do they compare to other people's thumbnail who are uh, basically a part of this as well. And so we can see here that is, does our thumbnail use bright colors? Does it include a close-up of a human face? Uh, does it ensure that the text is large enough? It'll go through, again, a bunch of best practices and show you how your thumbnail matches up to others within this category. 
And then last, we can go to step four. Yes, I want to apply all of the changes we've made to the video. So all you gotta do is you can click the green apply to video button. Uh, it'll populate the different changes that we made. Now, again, first thing you have to do is you just close out of this. And then once you've closed out, hit the save button and you are good to go. And now all of the changes that you made within the SEO studio are absolutely then applied to your video. Again, that's just wonderful. Next, we have a caption service. This is a caption service that is uh, outsourced. Uh, they use rev.com, another great service. The, the reason I love TubeBuddy is because everything's just built into the app to where if you want a one-stop shop for everything, you can do it, right? Next, we'll have search positions. Under search positions, this will tell us, okay, exactly where the video tag, okay, exactly where we rank for that specific video tag. So if we scroll down here, we can see for this one here, we rank first in search with no history, right? So if we click on this here, we can see kind of where we are today and if that has changed. Now, obviously this video was just uploaded not too long ago, so there is not much data to go by. But a video that has a lot of data, you can dive in here and kind of see what works and what's best for uh, that keyword and kind of where you rank on that keyword. Another wonderful SEO feature. The next one we're gonna look at is Tag Translator. Basically, it will tell you the, the top five languages spoken by your channel's audience and possibly if you want to translate some captions into that language to possibly uh, gain more viewers from that location. Uh, next, we have our A-B test. This is, again, one of my favorite tools uh, within the TubeBuddy suite of tools. So basically, which video would you like to run the test on? Obviously, the current video. Uh, thumbnail CTR test, select or metadata test allows you to change the thumbnail title, ta title tags and or description. You can also A-B test all of the other stuff. So we're going to do a thumbnail CTR test. You can set the test for 14 days or longer. 14 is the minimum days. We'll go ahead and do that now. We want to start the test ASAP, and then we're going to go ahead and click the blue continue button. So we have our original thumbnail here, and then our test thumbnail uh, will be, let's say this is our test thumbnail here. And basically what this is going to do is this is going to show uh, thumbnail A to a certain amount of people, and then thumbnail B to another certain amount of people, and see which one gets the highest CTR or click-through rate. And we're obviously not going to do that, uh, because that's not the right thumbnail, but I'm just showing you exactly how to do that. Click the green start test button and you'll start having data eight to 10 days into the test where you can come back here and see the different bits of data uh, that TubeBuddy has gathered for you to choose the correct thumbnail. Next, we have the promote tab. Share Tracker, vid to vid promotion, and share on Twitter. Now, Share Tracker allows you to click here uh, and it'll allow you to click on any social icon to kick off sharing for your video. So we can click off, say, the Twitter icon here. It'll open up Twitter. It'll give our uh, you know video name and link right here, and then we can automatically post it or hit the tweet button if we are logged in to Twitter. Just another great way of using social networks to share our video, again, all within the TubeBuddy tool. The next thing here under promote is vid to vid promotion. Which promotion methods would you like us to use? Description promotion. Now, if you don't know what that is, you can click the blue, what is this button right here. Uh, basically, it allows you to, in all of your vid to vids here, it'll allow you to promote this video in the descriptions of all of your other videos. So when you do that, you click that there, select the videos that you want to promote it in, and then it will basically put this link to this new video in the descriptions of all your older videos. Again, just another great feature that TubeBuddy provides. Lastly, we have share on Twitter. Again, it does the same thing basically as the share tracker does, allows you to share your video on Twitter. Schedule allows you to schedule or publish the video or sunset the video, which would be removing the video. Uh, miscellaneous, you have a thumbnail generator, advanced embed. Uh, you can pick a winner for contest and you can even export comments to uh, go through and look at and try to respond if that's something that you want to do. Now, all of this is within tools. Now, under quick links here, uh, we have our analytics and we have our different comments that we can filter through. And then under info, uh, we have our video ID, direct video link, and then we have the playlist. Now this has saved me so much time, right? By going here, clicking TubeBuddy, going to the info tab, and automatically having a direct video link, having a video ID for embeds, and then a playlist link for the playlist that this video is in is just an absolute wonderful feature to have. Uh, being able to go here and get all of this at a glance. All right, next we're going to jump onto the actual video page where the video is live over on YouTube, and we're going to see a couple of different things. Over on the right here, we have something called a video lytics. This is all of the data that TubeBuddy shows you about a current video. And by the way, secret, it's not just for your videos. It's for other people's videos, which is amazing for going through and seeing what other uh, competitors or creators are doing in the same niche or space as you and to be able to gather information and data. 
Also have best practices over here on the right that will show you the different best practices you should be doing within and on your video. And then under tags here, it'll actually show you where you rank in search by putting a green number uh, with that ranking next to that actual term. So it will show you the amount of total views for the video, the amount of comments, the likes and dislikes, and so much more data over here in video lytics. All of this is done here automatically within TubeBuddy. Now, down below here, you can see we have comments. We're gonna talk about comments here in a minute, but I wanted to jump over to my channel page for a minute and show you something. When you go to a new channel and you want to compare how you're doing to someone uh, in the same space as you, or you just wanna compare and contrast of where you are, you can click on a channel like this one here, or I can go to like the TubeBuddy YouTube channel here and see something that's called Channelytics. If you don't know how to open it, you can close out of it. It should be a new tab where you can just go to Channelytics and you can compare views, you can compare subscribers, you can compare video, all of this here within Channelytics on a YouTube channel. Uh, the next thing I wanna show you is basically over here to where you can see the TubeBuddy home base or home page. If you go to TubeBuddy.com and log in, you can see here all my different channels. I have the launch pad, the competitor scorecard, the health report of my channel. This is just new ways where you can go in and, and do certain things with your YouTube channel. You can see the health report of your channel. You can see a launch pad that gives you all the, the different areas where you can go to the different tools within TubeBuddy. You can see search rank tracking. You can see brand alerts. Well, it shows you the actual value of one of your videos. Again, all of these you'll need to play around with to kind of see which one you need to utilize on your YouTube channel. So again, that's going to be on TubeBuddy.com slash account, and you'll need to be logged in to see all of this. And you can do things like backup and export your YouTube channel. You can add canned responses. Speaking of canned responses, we're going to hop on over to the comments section, and I'm going to show you how TubeBuddy shaves off hours of time if you're trying to build a community and respond to your comments. All right, so as you can see here, we now have the TubeBuddy icon here, uh, and then we have the ones where we haven't responded to. Uh, TubeBuddy allows us to go in here and create canned responses. So if we select the TubeBuddy tool here, we can do canned responses. So I have one here that says, thank you. So he says, thanks for the info. I'll just click on thank you right there and then hit reply. And within two clicks, I have replied immediately to that comment. And it's very, very easy. Also click on the TubeBuddy here, go to thank you or thanks or you're welcome. So we'll click on thanks here and then we'll go to reply just like that. Now, if you wanna create a canned response, you can just click on this here, click the gear icon, go over to canned response, go to and add a canned response, give it a name, and then click the green save button, and you now have a new canned comment that when you're back over here, uh, and we're selecting the TubeBuddy icon here, go to canned responses, and we have the different ones that we've just added, okay? Just like that. Or another beautiful thing from within the comments that you can do is something called the video topic planner. I can't tell you how many video ideas I've gotten from people who have commented or asked questions on my videos. Now, if you think one of these comments, or let's say this one right here, could be a good video idea or a question I want to answer, I'll click on the TubeBuddy tool here. I'll go to Video Topic Planner down here at the bottom and go to Add as a Comment Suggestion. And now when I hop over to the Video Topic Planner by going up here and then finding the Video Topic Planner here within the Tools section, you can see now that I have all of these that I can move around. I can find the different ones that I want to do. If I've done a video and I've completed it, like this one here, I'll hit the check mark there and it is done. Uh, so basically, this is another way for you to get ideas for your videos. So guys, I hope you can tell and you can see that there are so many different ways that you can utilize this tool to improve your efficiency on YouTube, help you grow your YouTube channel and take time off of the workflow each and every week. TubeBuddy is a great tool. You'll have links to download and do all of that down below. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please do so, like the video and share it. And I will talk to you guys in the next video.